Now that you have a solid base of core strength going, I'm gonna progress this a little bit and give you four new exercises that really help core strength and stability. So Chris, let's go on the mat. I'm gonna show you the first one. It's gonna be a front plank. It's gonna look similar as the one we did before. Go ahead and get on your elbows. Everything's straight. By now, you can probably hold this for a minute. Glutes are tight, legs are tight. Now, first progression, I'm gonna have you lift one arm out. Go straight out. Good, and then go to the right arm. Good, lift the, the right leg. And then left leg. Good. What I want you to notice here is he's staying completely still. All, the, all his arms and legs move around the core. Nothing should move in here. So now we're gonna go the next progression, just opposite arm, opposite leg. You should see no movement in here. Go ahead, Chris, and show one, what, what can happen if you're not stable enough. Good, you tend to move to the side. The whole key is keeping this stable. Here, go ahead and do a couple, couple right. Perfect. That's a few front plank progressions you can do. Now we're gonna go to the side plank. Go ahead, Chris, get in the side plank. Again, you wanna get up, elbow at 90 degrees here. Get up, legs are straight, hips are in. You wanna be straight from ankle all the way to your ears. Okay, compress everything, Chris, from head to toe. Glutes are tight, stomach's tight, legs are tight. Good, you're gonna hold that. The next progression is you're gonna bring the arm up and hold the leg up. Again, we're gonna start at probably 10 seconds with most people. If you have any kind of weak glutes here, this is gonna be very hard for you. Good, and good, come down and hold that still now. So you wanna, again, start like you did with the plank. Start at 10 seconds, try to work your way up to about 30 or 40 seconds. Good. Okay, come down. Okay, now we're gonna go to a V sit, okay? So you're gonna go on your back, legs straight, arms. The key here is to really think about keeping pressure in your lower back into the mat. Never let that off, up or down. So come up, your feet, and then slowly down. Good. Notice how he's keeping tension on here the whole time. A lot of people wanna come up and then just airdrop down. I'll go ahead and do that. Half the exercise is the eccentric or the down part. So go slowly down. Okay, come up. Good. All right, good. Okay, the third one we're gonna do is called a bird dog. At first glance, this exercise looks very easy. But if you're doing it correctly, it's, it's extremely hard. So Chris, go ahead. You wanna get your knees, everything, your hips at 90 degrees, your arms at 90 degrees, hips up, neutral spine, head not down, not up, just right head neutral. So Chris, go ahead and go opposite arm, opposite leg. What you see, again, is nothing moves here. Hips aren't moving this way, hips aren't moving that way. They're just nice and stable, there's no dip here. So Chris, go ahead and do a wrong one. What you'd see is, if people don't have stability, you'll see, you'll see that happening. Good, okay, do a few correct ones. Again, 90 degrees in the hips, 90 degrees in the hands. Good, and I do a little test to make sure people are doing this right. I stick a water bottle on their back, and if they're doing it wrong, it'll fall off. Okay. Yep. See? So, <laughs> go ahead and try again. You get the idea though. Okay, so go. Good, so you have to stay extra stable for this, for the water bottle to stay on as Chris just saw. Perfect, he's doing that great now. Good. So that's a great way just to make, it, make sure you're doing that exercise right. Okay, Chris, go ahead and come up. Last one we're gonna do is what I call an anti-rotation shot. By anti-rotation, I mean, when you do this exercise, go ahead and do a few reps, Chris. Good, see how his hips aren't moving? Nothing's moving here, only the upper body. Okay, now go ahead and do it wrong, where you move your hips. See, now you're taking all the stability out of it, and you're using a lot of hip. What I wanna do is see the abs stabilize. So go ahead. Perfect, see hips are still, nothing's moving. You know, you might want to keep the hips back and keep the glutes real tight. Perfect. There you have it. Four great exercises to do for your core.